This is Q Racing News, brought to you by the Bank of America Racing Challenge. By the time you see this, I'll be in Rodoso for the Rodoso Select Yearling Sale and, of course, the 2013 All-American Derby and Futurity. Morning lines are set for both races. We'll start by taking a look at the two-year-olds. Jim Pitts, especially Trace, is the morning line favorite at 7-2. to two. She's unbeaten in four starts, including the Grade 2 Sam Houston Futurity. She's the second fastest qualified of the Futurity, trained by Blaine Wood. Second choice is He's Relentless at 9 to 2, followed by Houdini and Regal Eagle at 5 to 1. Andrew Smith's Wicked Courage is the morning line fave in the Derby at 3 to 1, followed by The Magic Dash, Bone Accord, and Louisiana Corona. Bone Accord, of course, had the fastest qualifying time, but Wicked Courage has the pedigree. The final for the Derby runs on Sunday, September 1st, and the All American Futurity, of course, is on Labor Day. If you can't make it to the track, be sure to catch the races live on Q Racing Video. The service is absolutely free and gives you unlimited access to live and replay race video just about every quarter horse track in North America. Go to QRacingVideo.com. The three days prior to the Futurity, the Rudoso Sale Company hosts the Rudoso Select Yearling Sale. AQHA will be on hand to help you with your membership and transfer paperwork. The folks from Quarter Horse Outfitters will be there if you want to set yourself up with some nice AQHA swag. And of course, you're always welcome just to drop by and say hi. 450 horses scheduled to go through the sale. That does not include the Crystal Springs Farm Dispersal on day one, by the way. You can see the catalog online at robinglenn.com, and the catalog is also available as an iPad app. Fancy. Los Alamitos on Sunday hosted the quarter million dollar plus grade one Golden State Derby. This gelding, Far Niente, owned by Tom Atwood and Vessel Stallion Farm, was the fastest qualifier two weeks ago. 400 yards later, he would have his first stakes win. This was Far Niente's third lifetime start, but his second start since being gelded, which turned out to be a good move, as he was the wire-to-wire -wire leader in the trial and raced very well in the final. Trainer Jose Hernandez Jr. says the horse had been acting worse and worse before they decided to geld him, but he's now much more focused. Jockey Ramon Sanchez was in the irons. To the Downs at Albuquerque in the restricted Grade 3 Lineage Championship stakes for New Mexico breads. Ubaldo Solis' Osbaldo would go off as the 10-to-1 dark horse, but Jose Ruiz would ride the four-year-old stallion to a first-place finish in 19.341 seconds at 400 yards. The four-year-old Jesse James Jr. stallion has now won eight of 17 starts with earnings of $275,000. This was Osbaldo's first stakes win since his two-year-old season. The 2013 Los Alamitos Equine Sale Catalog is available online. The sale is Saturday and Sunday, October 5th and 6th at Los Alamitos Racecourse. 414 quarter horse yearlings and mixed stock quarter horses representing the top consigners and bloodlines in the sport. Get the catalog and all other info at LosAlamitosEquineSale.com. Head to AQHARacing.com and download your registration form to attend the 2013 Bank of America Racing Challenge Championships and AQHA Racing Conference, November 6th through 9th at Los Alamitos. We hope to see you there. If you have any questions or to register, just call the Challenge Hotline on your screen. That's it for Q Racing News. I'm Matt Darby in Amarillo. I'll see you next week. This is Q Racing News, brought to you by the Bank of America Racing Challenge.